All right, so welcome back to QNAP Live Room. So I'm PM Stanley, and today we're going to introduce our new designed uh, recommend models, uh, which is called TS-HX87XU-RP. So it is a ZFS-based uh, hybrid uh, HDD and SSD uh, storage with uh, Intel Xeon E processor and uh, uh, 2.5 gig and 10 gig speed for uh, Ethernet. Okay, so uh, as for the uh, more uh, requirement on uh, on the industry, uh, such as uh, visualization, uh, database, or uh, media entertainment, uh, there's more and more uh, storage need uh, for uh, their uh, data storage, so uh, and they need a uh, higher uh, access speed for uh, the storage. So uh, we have done some uh, upgrade on the 87XU uh, on uh, SSD and HDD uh, hybrid uh, storage and upgrade the uh, PCI to PCI Gen 4 and add. Uh, some uh, 10 gig and uh, 25 gig Ethernet connectivity for the whole series. So uh, in this series, we use the uh, Intel Xeon E uh, family. So as you can see, Xeon E is uh, higher than uh, Xeon D and uh, Core i7, Core i9. So uh, Xeon E is a uh, industrial grade uh, server uh, processor so uh, it's very suitable for uh, our uh, high reliability NAS uh, x86 based uh, NAS such as our uh, 87XU so uh, in 87XU uh, series we have uh, three different uh, three different models of uh, the, the processor so we will have four, four core, six core, and eight core uh, model. So as you can see, uh, we have Xeon E-2378. It is a eight core, 16 threads. Uh, can, uh, the frequency can burst up to uh, 4.8 gigahertz. And we also have Xeon E-2336. It's a uh, six core, 12 thread can burst up to uh, 4.8 GHz as well. And also we have full core 8 thread version, uh, which is Xeon E-2334. Uh, it is a uh, full core 8 thread CPU that can burst up to uh, 4.8 GHz. Okay, and uh, for the uh, whole Xeon E uh, series, uh, we support uh, dual channel uh, DDR4 UDIM and support uh, ECC can uh, expand up to uh, 128 gigabyte for uh, in total, uh, which is for uh, 32 gigabyte uh, memory. Okay, so the uh, 87XU series is our new design chassis that can uh, support both uh, HDD and SSD in hybrid mode. So you can uh, optimize your uh, storage space uh, with higher uh, IOPS and the uh, uh, rewrite performance. So we will have four different models. The first one is on the top left, uh, which is TS-H987XU-RP. Uh, it's a 9-bay, uh, 1U 9-bay NAS. And uh, on the bottom left, we have uh, TS-H1887XU-RP. Uh, which is a uh, 18 bay uh, 2U 18 bay NAS. And on the uh, top right, uh, we have uh, TS H2287XURP. Uh, it is a uh, 22 bay 3U NAS. And on the bottom right, we have uh, TS H3087XU-RP. Uh, uh, it's a 4U 13, uh, 30 bay NAS. Okay, so let's take a uh, deep look for uh, each NAS. 
The first one will be uh, one U nine bay, uh, which is TS H nine eighty seven XU RP. So on the front, as always, we have uh, several uh, LED indicators uh, such as uh, status and power uh, LED and uh, LAN expansion and uh, uh, HDD and SSD LED as well. And uh, we also have the uh, power button on the most uh, right hand side. Okay, so on the front, we have four uh, 3.5 or 2.5 inch SATA 6 gig uh, HDD uh, tray. And uh, after we remove the top cover, you can see five uh, 2.5 inch uh, SSD slots that can support uh, both uh, U.2 or U.3 uh, NVMe PCIe SSD and also uh, SATA 6 gig SSD as well. So uh, on the uh, SSD number one to number three, uh, you can support uh, PCI Gen 3 by two for each slot and uh, uh, SATA 6 gig as well. And on the right hand side, we have uh, SSD number four and number five that can support a higher uh, speed for the uh, NVMe U.2 SSD. Uh, with, uh, it can support up to uh, PCI Gen 4x4 and also uh, SATA 6 gig as well. Okay, uh, on the rear side, uh, for the whole 87XU series, we, sub, uh, we provide uh, two uh, 10 gig base, uh, 10 gig base T uh, connectivity and uh, two 2.5 gig uh, con uh, ethernet connectivity as well. And we also provide four uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2 that can support up to uh, 10 gig, uh, 10 gigabit per second. And uh, on the uh, 987XU, we provide a single PCI Gen 4 by A slot on the rear, uh, rear side. And we also provide uh, two redundant power, which is uh, 250 watts. Okay, and uh, for the uh, 18 bay, and the 22 bay, we have uh, uh, we have uh, 12 or 16 uh, 3.5 inch SSD uh, 2.5 inch tray on the uh, front that can support uh, both HDD and SSD 2.5 inch or uh, 3.5 inch. And on the uh, right hand side, uh, we have the uh, power button and the uh, status power indicators and the uh, LAN expansion uh, LED. On the right, uh, on the rare, uh, view, rare view of uh, 1887XU, uh, we provide uh, same as uh, 987XU. We have dual uh, 10 gig ethernet port and the dual 2.5 gig ethernet and the four USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gig port and uh, the, uh, the, the, the main difference is that uh, the 1887XU provides six more, uh, more uh, 2.5 inch SSD slots on the rear, on the rear hand side so uh, as you can see we have uh, six uh, SSD slots on the, uh, on the rear so uh, these slots supports uh, SATA 6 gig SSD. And on the right hand side, we have uh, two 500 watts uh, redundant power supply. And uh, for the 18, uh, 18 bay, we provide three uh, PCI Gen 4 expansion slots. Uh, the, first, the first slot supports uh, PCI Gen 4 by 8 and the second and third slot support uh, PCI Gen 4x4. Okay, and for the uh, 22 bay, we uh, uh, mainly the same as uh, the 18 bay. So we have uh, six uh, 2.5 inch SSD slots and the uh, dual 10 gig uh, Ethernet port and the dual 
uh, 2.5 gig Ethernet port. And uh, on the middle, we have uh, three PCI Gen 4 full high slots that can uh, support a full high uh, PCI expansion card. And the uh, spec is uh, same as uh, 18 bay. So the first slot is Gen 4 by 8. And the second and third slot supports uh, Gen 4 by 4. And on the right hand side, we uh, provide two uh, 500 watt redundant power supply as well. Okay, and for uh, the uh, 4U 30 bay, uh, which is TS H 3087 XU RP. So on the front, we have 24. Uh, 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch SATA, uh, SATA, SS, uh, SATA slots that can support a hot swap and uh, uh, integrate with the uh, LED status indicators. Okay, so on the right hand side, we also have a uh, power button, LED indicators, uh, status, power, LAN, and expansion LED. So on the rear view of uh, 30 bay, uh, we also provide uh, six uh, SATA, uh, 2.5 inch SATA SSD uh, slots that can uh, also support a hot swap. And uh, on the uh, bottom, we have a dual 10 gig, uh, 10 gig base T uh, Ethernet port and 2.5 gig uh, Ethernet port. And also four USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gig uh, 10 gig port. Okay, so on the uh, right hand side we have uh, PCI slots. Uh, the first slot supports PCI Gen 4 by 8, and the second and third slots support uh, PCI Gen 4 by 4. As for the power supply, we provide dual uh, 800 watt. Uh, redundant power supplies and uh, for the uh, 13 uh, 30 bay we sub, uh, we provide additional one uh, six plus two which is a pin uh, power supply for uh, power pin for uh, your gpu cars okay so here's uh, how to install the uh, 3.5 inch uh, uh, 3.5 inch SATA uh, hard disk on uh, 9 bay, 18 bay, and 22 bay. Okay, and uh, for uh, how to install uh, 3.5 inch hard disk on uh, 30 bay. So uh, for 30, 30 bay, uh, it is a little bit different with uh, other models. So turning bay have a uh, little click on the front of the uh, the, the tray. So you will need to uh, you will need to click the tray and push it. So uh, the tray can be removed by uh, removed from the uh, chassis. Then you can install your uh, hard disk with screws. Okay. And the same for uh, if you want to install a 2.5 inch SSD on the uh, 30 bay. Okay, so uh, on the 9 bay models uh, for uh, 2.5 inch trays, you will need to uh, remove the top cover and uh, uh, unscrew the uh, unscrew the screw to uh, remove the uh, tray. Then you can uh, install the SSD with screws. Okay, so for the uh, the uh, 2.5 inch uh, 2.5 inch slots uh, on the rear side for uh, each uh, for 18 bay, 22 bay, and 30 bay, you will need to uh, remove the tray. Uh, like the uh, like the uh, uh, indicators uh, down below, and uh, uh, install the uh, SSE with the uh, screw. Okay, so uh, for the eighty seven XU series, we support up to four DDR four ECC UDIM, 
uh, ECC using memory that can support up to uh, 128 gigabyte uh, in total. Okay, so uh, we can uh, move to our uh, demonstrate. Okay, so here's the uh, 3087XU. Uh, so after we remove the top cover, as you can see on the left hand side, here's the uh, the cover for uh, the cover for the uh, heat sink. So uh, if you want to uh, if you want to install or remove the uh, RAM module, you will need to remove this cover, and uh, you can uh, refer to our uh, user manual to. Uh, to see how to in, uh, how to remove and install these uh, covers in order to uh, replacing or uh, adding a RAM module. Okay, so on the right hand side we have one uh, additional six plus two, uh, which is a eight pin power pin for uh, the GPU. Uh, for the GPU, if you uh, need to uh, install the uh, GPU card for uh, AI uh, computing. Okay, let's roll back to uh, slice. Okay, so the uh, the whole uh, 87XU series, uh, we provide uh, both uh, 10 gig and 2.5 gig uh, Ethernet. So uh, if you are using 2.5 gig Ethernet, you won't need to uh, replace any uh, existing uh, cable. So you can continue to use your K5E cable to uh, use 2.5 gig in full speed and uh, if you want to use uh, 10 gig ethernet you will need to pay attention on your uh, cable so uh, as you can see the uh, 10 gig need to uh, 10 gig ethernet needs uh, cat 7 uh, cat 6 and a cat uh, 6a or a higher cable to support uh, 10 gig in uh, full speed Okay, so the uh, 87XU series uh, are uh, designed with uh, PCI Gen 4 slots that can benefit us to add uh, several uh, PCI expansion cards uh, such as our uh, new QXG-25 gig 2SF-CX6 uh, which is a 25 gig uh, Ethernet uh, NIC so uh, it provides dual SFP20A uh, 25 gigs uh, 25 gig ethernet port so uh and qnf also have a uh, 25 gig switch if you want to uh, upgrade your uh, environment uh, to all 25 gigs uh, environment you can uh, refer to qsw uh, dash m5216 dash 1t it is a 16 port uh, 25 gig switch and we also have other uh, switch such as uh, 10 gig switch as well that can uh, uh, compatible with uh, 25 gig as well in uh, 10g speed okay and QNAP also have several uh, uh, different network expansion cards from uh, 2.5 gig all the way to uh, 100 gig so as uh, you can choose these uh, NIC on our uh, on our website and check the compatibility on our uh, website as well to uh, fit your uh, environment to uh, fulfill your uh, usage. Okay, so uh, the next part will be our uh, performance part. So uh, the first one, uh, the first one to bring up is uh, our. Uh, four core uh, eight thread TS H nine eighty seven XU RP. So uh, this model is loaded with uh, Xeon E to uh, twenty three uh, thirty four and with uh, sixteen gig memory. So as you can see, we have two uh, twenty five gig clients uh, connect to our nine eighty seven XU. And uh, you can see the uh, single 25 gig uh, iSCSI uh, uh, Samba uh, sequential throughput uh, 
for the uh, single 25 gig, uh, the sequential rate can uh, uh, the sequential rate is up to uh, 2,900 megabyte per second, and the sequential write uh, is uh, 209 uh, 2,900 megabyte per second. And uh, if you use dual 25 gig, the uh, performance can boost up to uh, five. Uh, 5,800 for uh, sequential read on Semba and uh, 5,900 megabyte per second sequential write for uh, Semba as well. Okay, so the next part will be 18-bay, uh, uh, which is a uh, six-core 12 thread uh, load with uh, Xeon E2336 and uh, install install uh, 32 gig memory so uh, for the uh, 18 bay 22 bay and 30 bay we uh, we have designed more uh, clients to uh, boost the performance so uh, it means you can uh, use with uh, six client uh, SSD uh, server at the same time with 25 gig Okay, so as you can see, the uh, random read uh, is nearly uh, 583,000 IOPS and the random write is uh, 400,000 uh, 400, IOPS for uh, iSCSI random uh, read and write. And the uh, sequential read is uh, nearly uh, uh, 10,000 megabytes per second for uh, sequential read and uh, a 8,800 for uh, sequential write on uh, Semba for the uh, 1886, uh, 1887 XU. Okay, so for the uh, 2287 XU, the uh, performance is much, uh, is more higher than the uh, 18 bay. So uh, as you can see, the uh, random read uh, IOPS uh, is nearly uh, 10, uh, uh, one, uh, nine, 990,000 IOPS for uh, random read and uh, 440,000 for uh, random write uh, for the uh, iSCSI and the uh, sequential, read, uh, sequential read and write is uh, nearly uh, 10,000 for uh, the uh, Semba, 10,000 uh, megabyte per second for uh, Semba. Okay, so the last one uh, is uh, the uh, TS-H uh, 3087XU uh, with the Xeon E2378, a core 16 thread with uh, 32 gig memory. Okay, so you can see the uh, iSCSI uh, random uh, random uh, IOPS is much higher than uh, the 18 bay or uh, 22 bay, and this control rewrite is uh, breaking uh, 10,000 for uh, both read and write on Semba. Okay, so if you want to uh, boost your uh, server more uh, with more uh, higher speed. You can uh, add more uh, M.2 SSD for uh, keychain or uh, build in the storage with uh, M.2 SSD. So uh, we have provided several uh, QM2 series to help you to add more uh, M.2 SSD slots. So as you can see, the QM2-4P-384, it provides four M.2 uh, Gen 3 by 4 slots. And the QM2 2P-3A4 provides dual uh, PCI Gen 3x4 M.2 SSD slots. So uh, the previous one uh, is uh, Gen 3 models. And uh, in this year, we launched the uh, PCI Gen 4 models uh, with uh, 10 gig, which is a uh, combo, combo solution for uh, QM2. So we'll have two different models that uh, can provide both uh, dual uh, M.2 uh, Gen 4x4 SSD slots 
and the single or dual 10 gig Ethernet port at the same time. Okay, and uh, we also support uh, fiber channel send uh, with 32 gig or 16 gig uh, storage and backup with uh, our 87XU. So we have QXP 32 gig to FC and uh, QXP 16 gig uh, to FC. So you can uh, use this fiber channel uh hba to uh to gain ability for uh, fiber channel okay so uh we for the uh 87xu series you can uh, reach up to pb grade uh storage capacity with uh, our uh qnab sas jbot so uh you can use sas hba to add a SAS port to connect to up to 16 uh, QNAP SAS JBot that can reach uh, it can reach 1 to uh, 1 to 2 PB uh, row capacity for uh, the uh, total uh, storage so uh, we have two different uh, SAS HBA to, uh, for you to choose so the first one is QSP- uh, 820S-B3408 is a dual port of uh, SFF uh, A644 and uh, on the right hand side we have uh, 4 SFF A644 uh, which is QSP-1620S-B3616W Okay, so uh, we also prepare a uh, demonstrate for the uh, performance. So as you can see, this is the uh, our uh, management page for uh, our NAS. So uh, it is running QTS Hero uh, 5.0, and this model is TS-H3087XU-RP. And the CPU will be Xeon E2378. Uh, uh, it's an 8 core 16 thread, uh, can burst up to 4.8 GHz, and load with uh, 64 gig memory. Okay, so uh, we have connects all six clients to our uh, 30, uh, 3087XU. So uh, let me demonstrate the uh, IOPS for the uh, iSCSI. Okay, so it's currently running uh, iSCSI uh, stress on the uh, uh, 3087XU. You can see the uh, the uh, IOPS is uh, indicating here and the uh, CPU utilization is uh, nearly here's our result and uh, we can also demonstrate the uh, Samba uh, sequential read and write and so you can see uh, is uh, 10,000 uh, megabyte per second for the uh, total megabyte per seconds in decimal and uh, the CPU utilization is uh, really low around uh, 10 to 20 uh, percent
Okay, so here's our uh, final result, uh, which is uh, 10,300. Okay, let's uh, turn back to the slice. Okay, so uh, the whole 87 XU series is uh, pre installed with uh, QTS Hero that can bring uh, several uh, advantages. So uh, in the ZFS, it supports uh, compression and deduplication for the uh, data uh, before uh, to compress or dedupe the uh, data before it actually uh, writes on the uh, SSD. So it can uh, significantly uh, extend the uh, SSD endurance. Okay, and uh, as you might know that uh, the SSD, uh, if you buy uh, SSD in the same time with uh, same models, that uh, you can uh, you can f uh, easily find that uh, your SSD might be uh, broken uh, in the very same time so uh, it is very bad for uh, the uh, RAID uh, so uh, we have our uh, technology which uh, is called QSAL QSAL to, uh, per, to uh, prevent the uh, to prevent multiple SSD failing uh, in the same time Okay, so and uh, for the uh, QUTS Hero, uh, which uh, is now 5.0, uh, which is up upgrade to uh, kernel 5.1. So uh, the uh, kernel 5.1 uh, can uh, per, uh, can improve the uh, kernel safety and uh, uh, provide uh, data integrity, safety and efficiency required for uh, the uh, storage and uh, we have uh, we have redesigned the uh, user interface uh, with a very friendly way so uh, you can easily uh, to install the uh, operating system and configure your uh, SSD your uh, storage pool and your NAS configuration in very uh, friendly way Okay, and uh, uh, the uh, QTS Hero can also uh, prevent silent data corruption and self-healing uh, by the uh, ZFS RAID. And, and, uh, and the uh, new uh, 5.0 uh, operating system can uh, provide uh, several new applications such as our uh, uh, Q firewall or uh, malware remover can uh, increase your uh, NAS security and uh, provide uh, provide more uh, application for you to uh, use in your uh, in your uh, situation. Okay, so uh, in uh, Q uh, Q QTS five point zero point one and later. Uh, it will be support uh, the uh, Windows uh, Windows uh, search uh, when a symbol drive is mounted to the NAS, and you can uh, 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 search the uh, file with uh, time, file type, or uh, the size. Okay. Okay, and uh, we the uh, the workflow for the uh, filing you can uh, refer this page. So the first one is our uh, file session. Uh, you can use the file session to manage all your uh, file, your uh, your uh, backup jobs. And uh, on the OCR converter, you can uh, file digitalization. You can uh, convert the image to a uh, readable txt file and uh, you can also use qsearch to uh, search uh, several 
uh, in several condition uh, to uh, search certain uh, things, certain files on uh, in your NAS. And also, uh, we have Q filing. It is a uh, automatic uh, filing uh, filing uh, application that can help you to archive your uh, file automatically. And we also support uh, EXFAT uh, file system that can uh, support up to uh, maxima uh, 16 EB. So it's much uh, larger than uh, NTFS and uh, uh, FAT32. Okay, so uh, we have we also have uh, several uh, backup uh, and sync app for uh, the uh, uh, NNS. So the first one is uh, HBS3 that can uh, help you to uh, backup and uh, daily backup or schedule schedule backup to a certain uh, directory and uh, we also have snapshot replica can uh, uh, can help you to uh, capture snapshot and uh, to uh, hourly daily and yearly and also we have snap sync that can uh, help you to snap uh, to sync your uh, snapshot uh, to another NAS in order to uh, uh, in order to have a real time uh, real time uh, real time uh, uh, in order to uh, in order to sync two different NAS in the uh, in the same time that can uh, uh, can secure your uh, uh, availability okay so uh here's the uh, hbs is free uh diagram so you can see uh we have a uh, local nas and uh, you can use hbs3 to uh sync to remote nas and uh, of course you can uh extract all uh extract the uh, file to uh portable use so to do that, we have uh, extract tool on uh, both Windows and uh, Mac OS to help you to extract your tool remote, uh, remotely portable in uh, different uh, in different uh, different zone. Okay, so uh, the real time snap sync uh, can ensure uh, minimal RPO with real-time disaster recovery. So uh, if you are using scheduled snap sync, your uh, RPO time will be uh, around five minutes to uh, 60 minutes. Uh, but if you're using uh, real-time snap sync, the uh, RPO is zero. So uh, you, can, uh, uh, you can directly choose a secondary NAS to, uh, com uh, to complete your uh, if your uh, to continue to work, uh, if your primary NAS is down. Okay, so if you need a uh, economical and uh, efficient CDM solution, you can use SnapSync with uh, instant clone. Okay, and we also provide uh, a FTP tool to help you to uh, build a FTP server very easily. So it's called QFTP. It supports uh, several uh, functions like, uh, like uh, QoS or uh, the uh, folder level permissions and uh, remotely connect to uh, other NAS. Okay, and uh, we also have uh, VPN service built in in uh, our NAS. So it's called QVPN. The QVPN is not only support uh, L2TP VPN, but also support uh, new WireGuard VPN, uh, which is lighter and easier to set up. And uh, the WireGuard can uh, handle VPN uh, directly from the uh, kernel layer, uh, resulting in faster uh, transmissions.
Okay, and we also have uh, SD1 solution, which is uh, QU1. Uh, so uh, the Q1 uh, solution features auto mesh VPN, IPsec, and uh, uh, IPsec in uh, encryption. So uh, compatible with uh, a very, uh, very, uh, very much the. Uh, Platform hypervisor platform like uh, VMware uh, or uh, Q1 enables uh, SMBs to efficient, efficiently build a dependable uh, network at a cost effective price. Okay, so uh, if you uh, need to check out the uh, SD1 solution, you can refer to our uh, website. Okay, so we also have uh, we also have a hyper data protector. Uh, it is a license free uh, for VMware and Hyper-V backup uh, appliance. So you can backup your uh, VMware or your servers, your uh, Hyper-V, uh, into uh, our NAT to ensure uh, twenty four seven operation of your service. And we also have a uh, queue object for uh, object storage development, so we can support uh, S3. Okay, and we also have hybrid mount for uh, uh, mounting uh, cloud storage and file servers. So uh, you can uh, connect to uh, very, uh, you can connect to uh, like OneDrive. Uh, Dropbox, Google Drive, and Google Cloud as well. And uh, all of this mounted uh, storage can support our, uh, uh, our NAS application like uh, QSearch, QMAG, and QMusic, or uh, QVideo uh, to help you to manage your uh, files across the NAS and uh, the cloud storage. And we also have a VJBot cloud uh, solution that can uh, have a cloud object storage to uh, in connect to uh, connect your NAS with a cloud object storage and backup business data to the cloud with uh, reduced bandwidth uh, usage, uh, backup time, and op optimized uh, storage uh, usage. Okay, and we also uh, have. Uh, box save that can back up for uh, Google Workspace and Microsoft 365. So it can support both uh, Google Workspace and uh, Microsoft 365. Uh, across in, uh, the mail service, uh, Google Drive, uh, OneDrive, SharePoint, and the calendar. Okay, and the uh, 87X2 series is also support uh, several uh, virtualization uh, application uh, like our virtualization station. Uh, you can uh, create virtual machine on your NAS. Uh, we are support uh, Windows, Linux, and Android and Q, uh, QTS Cloud as well. And additional, we have a container station. You can run your, uh, you can run Docker, uh, lightweight virtualization technology on your NAS as well. Okay, and we also have uh, QUTS Cloud. QUTS Cloud is a virtual appliance based on uh, QNAP's uh, QTS operating system. Uh, can be quickly launched on QNAP virtualization station. Okay, and we have uh, several uh, virtualization certification, such as our uh, such as VMware, uh, Windows Server uh, uh, 2019, and Citrix and Veeam as well. Okay, and you if you want to build a uh, comprehensive surveillance system with NAS, so. Uh, you can choose uh, QBR Elite. So QBR Elite is a uh, subscription-based uh, smart uh, surveillance solution that has uh, several benefits. 
So uh, take a sample. The uh, the video format is uh, standard MP4. So it means you can uh, watch all these footage uh, across your uh, devices, uh, like your smartphone, your iPhone. And you can use our QVR Pro client to uh, to manage and uh, uh, watch the uh, footage or the uh, real-time uh, surveillance came uh, with uh, Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android as well. And we also have uh, face recognition, uh, facial recognition uh, solution, which is called QVR Face Insight, uh, which is a, a real-time facial recognition and uh, analytics. And we have uh, add mask uh, detection and facial recognition in uh, in one solution. And uh, if you need to uh, if you need to use this uh, AI application uh, very uh, very uh, very very fast, you can uh, choose our uh, you can uh, additional to purchase the uh, Corel uh, TPU. We support uh, both USB and uh, M.2 uh, M.2 TPU as well. Okay, so as I have mentioned before, the uh, whole 87XU series is uh, pre-installed with the QUTS Hero, uh, which is a uh, ZFS-based file system. Uh, but if you are, uh, if you need to use QTS, we also provide uh, QTS as an option uh, on your first uh, initialization uh, initialized page. Uh, for you to choose uh, either uh, QTS Hero or uh, QTS. Okay, so uh, here's our ordering uh, information. We have several SKU for you to choose. Okay, the first one is uh, the TS-H987XU-RP-E2334-16GIG. So uh, the 9-bay model we provide, uh, Xeon E2334, is 4-core uh, 8 threads and uh, preload with 16-gig uh, ECC memory. And for 18-bay, uh, we have two different SKU. Uh, the first one is uh, E2334-16-gig. So it's 4-core uh, 8 thread uh, with 16-gig ECC memory. And the second one is E2336-32 gig. Uh, it is a Xeon E2336 uh, 6 core uh, 12 thread uh, with dual 16 gig ECC memory, which is uh, 32 gig in total. As for the 22 bay, we have uh, 6 core and 8 core models that uh, preload with uh, 32 gig memory ECC memory and the uh, 64 ECC memory uh, 64 gig ECC memory and for our 30 by 4 u models we uh, provide Xeon E2378 8 core 16 threads uh, pre-install uh, 64 gig ECC memory and uh, the 87XU series is a uh, recommend models, so uh, you will, you will need to uh, purchase the uh, rail rail kit to install on the uh, on the chassis. Okay, so for the 9 bay, 18 bay, and 22 bay, you can choose the uh, rail kit, which is uh, RAIL B02. And for 30 bay, you will need to uh, purchase the RAIL A02 90. So uh, these are uh, these is uh, these are the uh, rail kit for uh, the 87XU series. Okay, and uh, the 87XU series is actually a uh, three-year standard warranty uh, when uh, shipping. So uh, 
if you want to uh, add more coverage of your uh, warranty, you can uh, optional to purchase two additional uh, two years of additional uh, warranty can uh, add up to uh, five year in total. Okay, so here's our uh, 87XU series is a powerful uh, 10 gig ready hybrid uh, storage that uh, is low with Xeon E uh, 23 uh, Xeon E series and uh, PCI Gen 4. So thank you for your time and uh, we'll see you next time.